was like, ah, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Hey guys, we're the Yacoubs. Wanting freedom and more time with our family, we became full-time house flippers in Northeast Ohio, and our every day is an adventure to say the least. Each episode, we're gonna show you not only the progress of each house we're flipping, but also the hilarity of us trying to do this as a family. So buckle up and welcome to Flipping Something. Well, hello there, and welcome to the latest episode of Flipping Something. The only thing I'm flipping right now is this coffee pot, because I need to get charged up for the day. Mm -hmm. How about you girls? This little one. Oh, she's just a little bathroom nightmare. That's yeah, tell us have. tell us about it, Laura. What's been going on with the pup? A lot of cleanup is what it is. A lot of cleanup. She hasn't recognized the difference between indoors and outdoors. Actually she prefers indoor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, she does. She's just Isn't been having true, one accident after another. Don't matter how many times we go outside. Doesn't matter if I try to bribe her with a treat. She's like, I just don't like grass. Sorry, I like tile better. Yeah, the, uh, the vet told me yesterday, if she doesn't like grass, try mulch. If she doesn't like mulch, try the concrete. Yeah, she's gonna stay in the little mulch area to go yeah. to the bathroom. Just right there, just that three foot square. That's where you can pee. So we need some help. So if you guys have any tips on how to potty train this. Or a live-in cleaning lady, that would be good. <laughs> Unrealistic. <laughs> so if you have tips on how to potty train this little mini poodle, this little cutie pie, I, it's hard to stay mad at her. Yeah, I mean, she's still a baby and all that, but yeah. it's just like, we've had her. <laughs> I know, we've Both had of our, all three of our kids, is like they took about a week or two weeks to potty train and they're human beings. I feel like yeah. it shouldn't be that hard, All right. but it is. But look at her little, little, little collar, Charlie. Mm. And then also, my phone number's on there, y'all. We buy houses. Okay, that's what I said the caller should have said. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> well, it's going to be a fun day. We've got friends coming to stay with us today. It is, we're excited about it, but we have literally had friends staying with us for the last four weeks. Like it's since been, the since the end of June, people have been staying with us and it's been different couples and we always have a blast and it's a ton of fun. Um, and so this is our last group of friends that are gonna be staying with us. And it's really cool because they are buying a house uh, from some of our family and they just got the clear to close on it yesterday. So, so that's exciting. Um, so we're excited for them, but they are going to be staying in our basement. Dun, dun, dun. It's a scary, dingy place, isn't it, Laura? There's spiders, lions, and tigers, and bears. Oh my. Actually, I thought it might be uh, cool to kind of show you guys because some of you guys have commented on um, Facebook and stuff saying, hey, whatever happened with your basement? We never saw your basement. And I was like, you know what? That is true. And so I figured, why don't we show you how our friends are going to be living downstairs? That might be fun. Charlie's not allowed in the Charlie's basement. Charlie's not allowed down. Brand new carpets. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Daddy paid a lot of extra money for that particular carpet. I mean, in the scary basement. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll take you around and show you the basement. And then I'm actually getting tattooed today. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you my friend, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll introduce you to Timothy and see what he's up to. I'm excited about uh, today. Where's Logan at? Logan! Here's my girl. Hey! Oh, the puppy's right there. You're gonna step on. Can you come help us show the people around? Yeah. All right, cool. It's so stark and scary down here. No, it's Not really. It's just the lights. It's just the lights. So. All right, so we're going in the basement. So. My dad made. Oh, this is what my dad made. <laughs> yeah, this is our crazy basement. I like it. You like it? What's fun is <laughs> our friends have no idea that this is what they're gonna be staying in. When they asked, uh, when I offered for them to to stay here, they I said, hey, we got some space in our basement, and so <laughs> if you want to come hang out, you're more than welcome to. But they're gonna be very surprised because this is not a normal basement, is it? 
She doesn't know what a normal basement looks like. No. <laughs> it's the only basement she's seen. So, yeah, so look at this. So we did this custom, built-in fireplace and stuff. What was cool about this is right here, you see how it climbs from the floor to the ceiling. You might think, man, that was just a cool thing that Sammy did. Well, it's because there was uh, ductwork that was like hanging lower than the rest of the ceiling. So I said, why don't we just make it look like this? And I think it came out super cool, actually. It's just, a, yeah. And of course, I'm kind of been like doing this a lot in all of our houses with the vertical slats and stuff. Um, this is not like the pre-made panels. We do all of these individually, cut down to size. And we did the same thing on uh, the kitchen island too, which is super cool. Um, it wraps around. This was a fun uh, project that we did. Laura was actually nursing me from uh, when I had surgery. That was back in September of last year. I had a pretty intense surgery and I was just like laying in my bed uh, for like six weeks. Um, and so we were, this was my recovery project. Um, Come downstairs, check on Jeff. Yeah, see what's <laughs> up. Um, he actually did the tile too on the backsplash, remember? So funny enough, <laughs> and this is all gonna tie in together. I'll show you later, but so I did all of the tile work down here too and uh, with the exception of the bathroom but I'll tell you what I did do in the bathroom um, so I love this green six by six tile really really cool and then my favorite spot is right where the girls are right here so we are a very nostalgic family and when yeah. I say we I mean me yeah. and I love we the, had fun picking all this stuff out though. we had a blast putting this together I got to pick Garfield that's my favorite that's right we love the early, well, not just the early 90s, but we love uh, the 90s is like our childhood. And so all of these things are super cool. You got Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior. That's actually signed by Hulk, so that was really cool. And then this is like a little, little deep track here, but we got Sinbad. I mean, if you were a kid in the 90s, Sinbad was in several movies. He's also just like hilarious comedian too. Got Johnny Carson and... David Letterman. Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik's here. They got Aladdin, Aladdin, a random uh, Sizu uh, ads from a magazine. See do. Because that's just like, that's the epitome of the 90s, right? This is my favorite. This is an MC Hammer Barbie doll <laughs> from Mattel. With the cassette. With the cassette that has, you can't touch this on it. Got Rugrats. McDonald's, all the McDonald's characters. And uh, then we've got, listen, R.I.P. Richard. R.I.P. Gone too soon, okay? Yeah. Feel like we were robbed because, I mean, he went into hiding for a little bit too. And then he passed away. Mm -hmm. He fell and passed away. I know. That's not fun. That's no goods at all. Poor Richard. No, no goods at all, huh, Logan? No, 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 poor Richard. <laughs> We got uh, Scrooge McDuck. Who didn't love DuckTales as a kid? Woo! Jumping in the pool of gold coins. I loved it. I loved it so much that I got it tattooed on me. Where is it at? Kadoosh. So I got that and that tattoo is exactly what's on our pool table too. And then Logan, why don't you show us the arcade? Woo. Show us the games. Show us the games. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whoa, baby. Look at this. What's this game? Pac-Man. Pac-Man? I'm gonna play it for you guys. Oh, oh don't pull God. yourself on the joystick. You're gonna break it. <laughs> That's, this is an original Pac-Man machine. We did not search this out. We actually, when we bought our house off of our friends, they had it and uh, they didn't want to take it. So I said, I'll buy that Pac-Man off y'all. And then this one, is Area 51 uh, really uh, just a fun, fun game? And I bought that off of somebody that was, I was selling their house and I said, how about we reduce the commission just a little bit yeah, and, and I'll take that arcade off your hands because they were moving to Tennessee and they didn't want to take it. And they were like, deal. <laughs> Why don't you show us the bedroom number one? This is like where our friend's kids stay. 
size beds and the TV. These pieces I need to nice clean. Big closet too. We have like the actual clothes closet, which is still huge. So you can use it for storage. <clears throat> and then we have another little side room there that houses our sump pump. What's that up there? Oh yeah, some more. We ran out of room on the shelf, but this is another. We just bring this guy out at Christmas time. Yeah. It's turbo time. <laughs> Whoa! And you know why I can touch the ceiling? Well, don't. You're gonna put fingerprints all over it. Jumping, jumping. We just gotta make that. We have a friend staying in here tonight. Yeah. Show us to the other, to the the primary room here, Laura. adult room. <laughs> we have a desk and our good friend Scotty provided lovingly this chair, a little lamp, and a monitor. He was using this as his office while he was here for a week. Or Which so. is why we built this out, this little space too, because... Scotty's corner. That is Scotty Campbell's <laughs> corner. Um, shout out to Mortgage Daddy over here. Yeah, and then Jenna and Nate generously donated their night tables that they weren't going to take with them when they moved. So oh, wow. Now we have nightstands. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Thanks, Nate and Jenna. <laughs> Our full bath that we added. Well, the toilet was Turn here. the lights on, Lolo. The toilet was here. The rest we added. Whoa. So we've got a shower. We have a sink. Beautiful sink with the mirror and everything. And then we've got our toilet room, which is Sammy's signature. So I was talking about how I did tile work down here. I didn't lay the tile in here, but I grouted it. Yeah. And it was at the end of my recovery as well. And so what was happening, so I had skin removal surgery because I was really, really heavy at one point. I was like 400 pounds, lost a ton of weight. So I had excess skin, blah, blah, blah. So I was near the end of recovery and I was really trying to get this basement done because we had family coming into town. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get down here and I'm going to grout the floor. Other reason being, Sammy can't sit still. So Also true. <laughs> also true. Because Jeff would have grouted the floor. And so what happened was, is I have an incision or I had an incision right across my stomach. And when I was grouting the floor, I tore my incision open. Here, I'll show you. So that's what I was left Extra with. Extra dark scar. Yep. So, circling back around, that's getting tattooed today. Woo! <laughs> Woo! So it's gonna get covered up so it won't look nasty anymore. So I will show you uh, what it looks like afterwards when we meet my buddy Tim. Let's look at, at your grout work here. It's not bad. Look at our beautiful floor. Was it worth it to be rushed back to Cleveland uh, to have yeah, them right. take a look at it? They had to inspect it all and make sure that I wasn't going to uh, have any infections and stuff. Probably not. Probably mm -hmm. wasn't worth it, but uh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is our crazy basement. The plan for the future that we are going to gut and renovate the upstairs. If you've been watching us for any period of time, you probably hear Laura drop hints every time I design a new kitchen that yeah. um, she wants me to be doing our kitchen upstairs for her. And uh, this also didn't help either, doing the basement kitchen so nice. Uh -huh. um, but we I built see what this. you're made of. Yeah, I see what you're made of. <laughs> so we built this kitchen out so that when we start to renovate, upstairs and it's all dusty and crazy we can actually live down here we don't have to because living in construction we have done it so so many times you remember the time babe when we had um we were redoing a two and three year old and you ripped out a wall and there was a live electrical wires hanging yes i remember that <laughs> oh i was gonna say the time that I, I sanded all of the floors and then we couldn't afford to finish them and uh so we had babies again like going over, uh, crawling across exposed. Like, it was sanded at least, but it was It wasn't fully there. sanded though, because we sucked at sanding back then. Yeah. When, when I we, say that, yeah. yeah, when I say that we sucked at sanding back then, that means we didn't have the money to hire people. Yeah, we <laughs> rented a sander and tried to do it ourselves, and it was like not really working. So then we just paused on that until we hired somebody who did a really great job, but then I still had to stain it all because we couldn't who, afford to hire somebody for that. Yeah. <laughs> 
who now, he's one of the guys that Stain does refinish his hardwood floors for us in the flip. Yeah, dustless sanding, it yeah. was great. Circling back around to that. Then floor. I had to stain and polyurethane the whole floor like in a day and I did like I took the kids over to my parents house to babysit and like every four hours I had to do another coat and I was so high by the time we went to bed I was <laughs> she's like yeah bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep I was like the, the kids the kids are gonna die from the pubes Sammy we can't stay here he's like everybody's asleep just go to bed <laughs> meanwhile I was like ah, it's all good bro it's all good <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, so this is our uh, our crazy basement, and I can't wait for our friends to come here later, yeah. who have no idea what they're going to be staying in, and uh, for them to see it. So gonna be wild. So I'm gonna go get tattooed, uh, cover that nasty thing up, yeah. you nasty thing, and uh, yeah. So let's go. Uh, let's go meet Timmy. All right. So I am here. I'm ready to get tattooed. Let me go inside and see my buddy Timmy and Emmeline, the owner of Pretty and Ink. Hello, my dear friends. Oh, oh Emily, oh. what's going on, girl? <laughs> hey. Yo! We're on oh, TV! You're gonna be there, dude. We made it! We made it! We made it! We made it! Hey. It's always. You have to be on OnlyFans. No! no. <laughs> Not, yeah. not this time. Wait, we'll see how the rest of the year goes. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. So, All right. Tim, are you ready to do this today? I guess, yeah, man. We're gonna get it done. So, uh, are you ready? I, I think so. Okay. I think so. We're gonna get intimate. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely probably the most intimate uh, I've you've ever been with another man. And I really thought after touching your nipple twice, you know. That's where we would be, but now here we are. So. Who would have known that you're gonna be as close to my pee pee as you are today? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, making some progress here with Timmy. We gotta spin. Whoa! Hey! Goodness gracious. Rides, therapy, tattoos, do it all, baby. Do it all. Calm down. <laughs> we got a lot done so far. Goodness gracious. Right here, on your bird. Right on my bird, on man. Bird on the bird. I only touched my peepee -pee once. <laughs> hey! This is a very sensitive area. But it's good. All right, Tim. Back to work. Let's go, baby. Let's get her done. Timmy, who's your favorite person to tattoo? Oh, Sammy Aku, the 110% because he gets awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you're looking for a great tattoo artist and you happen to live in the Warren, Ohio area, Trumbull County, you got to come to Pretty and in Ink and see my buddy Timothy Ragazine. He's just the absolute best, man. He does all my tattoos. Oh, God love you, son. God love you. <laughs> all right, so we are crossing the finish line. Doing the highlights now. Goodness gracious. Just gotta add a little bit of highlights. A little, a little zhuzh. You gotta zhuzh it up a little bit. I heard right. that yesterday on TV. You gotta zhuzh it. <laughs> gotta zhuzh it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it for today's episode. So thanks so much for tuning in to Flipping Something, and we will see you tomorrow.